This will be the greatest atmosphere you have ever witnessed in a boxing ring. Here we go. Zapata absolutely relentless. Sonzo Ramirez fought like a Mexican southpaw. Beautiful jab from Hitchens right there. What a great performance. He was just too good. This is a championship fight. Mic check one two. Mic check one two. This is Charlie Parsons for the Stomping Ground, powered by Wow Hydrate and available on the DAZN app. I have not spoke to you for a long, long time. You're giving me the side eye already. You're out of control at the minute, mate. Not sure about you. Not sure about all this. Why? It used to be this nice kid. <laughs> you had a job. I was trying to help you out. Now... Oh, it's the stomping ground. It's me, Charlie Puzz. Oh, and, and as for the video that you did on Instagram, you it's were about, one. when you were about to say to me then, oh, it's all getting out of control now with the pictures and all this sort of stuff, don't ever, don't ever talk to me about things getting out of control, ego out of control. That video, what one? The, the, like the official video what, to I announce that, you know, Is you know, not a nice after, thing to do? Mate, what do you think you are? Like the Prime Minister back. or something. Give when have back. you ever seen me do a video going, oh, hi guys. Um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be Ed Eduardinho. Mm, you have tried most <laughs> of your life, but once you realise you couldn't be, then you, but, uh, hi guys, um, I've got a really important announcement. Mm, important for who? I mean, well, you know, after, after uh, three great years at Boxing Social, you know, <laughs> I am delighted to announce my new venture, the Stomping Ground with Well Hydrate, powered by. I mean, little Dazone link up. Great, but like, I just Do don't you think know. This is going to be available on the Dazone app for some. Well, that's the only reason I'm here, of because course. otherwise, yeah. I think I was honestly just going to fuck just you. Just going to give, just going to give up. No, I thought it would have been really yeah. funny because yeah. you basically got a job <laughs> on the fact that you knew me. Right, so this whole new project that you're doing, yeah. you went in, you met Jake and the guys, and you were like, I really, like, I can get an interview with Eddie at any moment, honestly. And they were like, if you can do that, we'll create a channel for you. <laughs> and I was just going to completely mug you off and just go, I'm not going to do interviews with you anymore. It's only because you're now involved with The Zone that I have to. You know the funny thing is, whenever we have an interview and it goes a little bit like this and you're going to keep the stern like I'm Mr. Earn and I'm angry but but when you came in here it was I'm going to give it large to you we yeah, were this pals. is what I'm doing I no, had no, a little no. joke I didn't say away. I didn't say I'm going to give it large to you yeah. I said I'm going to mug you off yeah yeah so this is not you, you know there's people want that are commenting on the videos and they're like oh yeah you can tell that her and don't like that Parsons oh, I don't, don't but I'm saying I'm not sure about it. you got work to do if you want me to continue yes. providing you with a living. <laughs> I want to see, so I wanna see this wanna stomping see? ground. I don't know. I'm well, it's just on the zone app. So what? Oh, oh, oh. No, but you know, that's why I'm here. I've given you your chance because of your DAZN link up. You know, and then I say, oh yeah, hi guys. And then like a picture of the, the sunset in Thailand. Yeah. Oh, 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 72 hours 36. in Thailand. 36 hours in Thailand, guys. <laughs> Mate, seriously. Do you know how many people yeah. are now talking about you yeah. going, what has happened to Parsons? Let's talk about you. Are you, you okay with that? Come, I'm just doing my job, mate. And you're if not really, yeah, but talk, you're e no, but talk. No, because it's not the ego out of control. It is. Right, because do you think you're the same person? Yes, absolutely. No. Yes. No. Yes. What are you talking yes. about? <laughs> mate. You used to like post pictures yeah. down the pub with your mates. I still go, do. Going, I literally going, did that. One nil day. Southampton. Yeah, still up do the, that. What they called the hats? The Saints. Up the Saints. <laughs> up the Saints. I was down. Where was where they play? St Mary's. Down St Mary's with the boys. One nil the Saints. Now you're like I still 36 do that. hours in Thailand. Mm, namaste. Okay, are you the same as when you started? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Exactly the same. Well, more unbelievable, but. <laughs> You know, I, yeah, but if I said that, you'd mug me off royally. But I'm 44. Yeah. You're still. And by the way, you look. You used to look 14. Yeah. You now look seven. <laughs> 
Well, anyone that can't see past little marathon, General. And when the next you, you look, fight you've got this big bushy happens. hair. Yeah, yeah you're so skinny. In it. I know. You still got chubby legs. You're, I don't know what's happened there. Just the build of the man. Right. But well um, done on the marathon. You're gonna get smoked in every 5k I know. from this point on. Yeah, but also, and I'm still yet to how have much do you weigh? Strava follow back, by the way. Oh my which god! Is like why is your life all about the follow back? No, it's about the Strava. I don't actually. follow anyone on no, Strava. No, I know exactly. And yet, all the comments are "Keep it up, Eduardinho, smashing it, General." No. See, this is what I mean. <laughs> so what you're saying is like, oh, look at all your comments on Strava are down to me. It's it is ridiculous. Well, we know what they, we call that, Edward. What? I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> Go on, tell them. The Parsons effect. My guy. <laughs> you twat. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you. And we should, you know, it's so funny because first video with you on the new channel and all the comments mm. are already going to be like, right, business. Obviously, no one's watched they any video about yet. Boxing. Well, they have that. actually. So really? Tyson Fury interview, number fourth on trending. Okay. How many first views? interview on the channel. Uh, it looks like it's going to hit 250,000. Okay. I bet this does more. This one here? Yeah. If you get the title right. Respectfully, if you get the title right, if you say exclusive. Parsons, yeah, but you've done an back. interview this week. No views. <laughs> if you go, this interview is Eddie Hearn, four hundred thousand views. Yeah. Well, you're yeah, definitely on TikTok. Mm, can't TikTok wait. Can't right. wait to go and pick my kids up from school, and all these little kids going up to me, going, "Oh, Eddie, where's the Parsons?" Well, we're you back. But you don't reply to any DMs. You're so because I told you. I'm not sure about all this. Yeah, but you don't reply to anyone's DMs. Who says? Everyone. <laughs> right, let's pick up on you. It's out of control. What is? You've landed, cheeky little treadmill session, you know, just got to let my, uh, my fans know. And then a little sleep. And then down the gym, you're doing the, you've, got, you've got a photographer to photograph you. <laughs> Listen to it, because, right, you, three years ago, keep it coming. Yeah. you have a photographer taking photos well, of you doing sit-ups. Okay. Firstly, I'm trying to inspire people. The difference is between me and you. <laughs> You're 12, I'm 44. I've gone up right? five years. Well done. I fly all around the world yeah. all, all day, every week, right? Do you? What I do is not humanly possible. Mm. So I'm trying to show people what is possible, right? So when I fly to New York on Saturday morning, mm. get off... Wait three hours in the airport, get an internal fight to Syracuse, get a 45-minute car to Ray Ford, motivate him, obviously, to, to win the world title on Saturday night. It was all you. More or less. <laughs> Got, I mean, would he have won without me there? I don't know. I mean, that's another story. Shout out to Raymondo. Ray Finish Monday. there. Get back to the room at 1.45 a.m. Wake up, call at 3 a.m. Mm. in the car, back to Syracuse, back to JFK, 14 hours on the flight to Riyadh, mm. land... Go straight to the gym, mm. little sleep, all the media obligations, strength and conditioning. I mean, this is super human shit, right? And that needs to be documented, <laughs> okay? So, I don't have a photographer following me around, but Mark yes, Robinson, do. no, I don't. <laughs> yes, but you Mark do. Robinson, well, you, uh, Mark Robinson, who you know, can take we show photos. Those yesterday's photos, please? The people have seen them. No, I don't know if all the YouTube viewers have. Not everyone's on social about? media. Come on, if I pull them up now, you right? Can. There is one that needs addressing, right? This is, you say, my, I'm out of control. Edward, this is, I've not seen the likes of, of like, but do you just think, right, when you were this man in Vegas and you talk about, it's not even loading up, but you talk about you used to have a, a little wine in the evenings and you were overweight. Do you not look at, like, I mean, it's, it's a good transformation. We respect it, of course. But sit-ups, photo, I mean, to be fair, right, I would lap it up as well. If I mean, Yeah, I but what I'm saying time. is Mark wanted to come to the gym, right? You know that I've taken Kai on full-time. Incidentally. By the way, that but is No, 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 no. Wait there. Can you stop messaging my personal trainer, oh, I have to who I fly the around the world with me, going, any chance of no, a session no, right, this week, okay. son? Uh, I mean, no, but you're not, you don't right, work I'm going to show the receipts, because before, me and Kai, we, we followed You mean before I employed him full-time? Yes. Yeah. We've been speaking about doing it, so now I'm not allowed. No. Okay, can I just say, right? He used to be a PT. Yeah. Running his own business. Yeah. I took him on full-time for match rooms. I say that is quite a G move? Yeah, but also, I wanted him to train everybody in the office. Yeah. I wanted to improve well-being. No, I, I wanted to make it, it a better place to live. Plus, I want you to travel with me yeah. and train me twice a day. Yeah, but do you know how G of a move that is? Like, I don't care whether it's a G of a move. Yeah, but imagine just right. having the financial capability to go, yeah, go on then. Oh, yeah, what? 
personal trainer coming with me to, but that's the difference. to do a couple of sessions. But that's the difference between me and you. No, because it's I'm there 12. for my well being. I'm twelve. Seven. It's there for my well being, <laughs> not to to make a G move. What's that? No, I'm saying on top of it being there for your well being, which is also the most ridiculously superhuman I've got too much money move to do anyway. But look, it's kind it's of an cool. investment. It's an investment into yourself. Yes. But and that, my company. But, it's an expensive investment, but I respect But not really, when you're at my levels, and it helps you work harder. It helps you stay fresher. It helps you execute deals, travel more, work harder, all those kind of things. It's actually a great investment. In investing in your health yeah. is the best thing you Which can ever do. Which is what I'm doing now. That you are doing well in that respect, because yeah. you were a slob. Yeah. No, I definitely was. You were? Definitely was. Fight Day 5K got me started. There you go. And now I'm an absolute machine of a human being. Anyway, no how much longer we got? Uh, well, we need to talk about boxing. Oh, well, do we go on then? What? Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. Mm. Geezer's an absolute man mountain. Huge. He's an absolute lump. It's funny how boxing works. We spoke, I suppose, in Cancun not even that long ago. And it was... Only uh, one of your trips, yeah. Uh -huh. Funded by me. It wasn't funded by you. Wow. It wasn't. Well, well, it wasn't. You wouldn't have got the trip without me. So therefore, it was funded. <laughs> if you couldn't interview me, you wouldn't have been allowed to go. People are so going to be so pissed off, Edward. But therefore, it was funded by me. Okay. <laughs> Safe. Come on. In Cancun, what you're going to say is, you were mugging off Fury against Ngarno. I wasn't, blah, blah, blah. But no, me. no, Yeah, but I was. Uh, listen, I was very unpopular in these parts because... I thought Fury Ngannou was a joke of a fight. Like, I, I couldn't buy into the fact that someone could stroll into the sport. I know he's a UFC heavyweight champion, but just compete with the lineal world heavyweight champion. And I thought he'd beat Fury. And if he didn't, it was a draw. Or he lost by a round. But I thought, you know, imagine if he would have won that fight. And on his professional debut, he would have become the lineal world heavyweight boxing champion. So this guy's for real. It gave us the credibility, but more importantly, the conversations with His Excellency of the winner of Fury and Garnu, well, sorry, AJ and Garnu, will fight the winner of Fury Usyk. So rematch clause. What's the yeah, situation? Yeah, but you know how he works. Well, like, I, I mean, I don't because do I spoke okay. to Spencer Brown the other day, yeah. and they're still expecting the two. Hundred percent. It's fights. contracted, yeah. but you still know how he works. I mean, of course. Say that Fury Usyk is a, an okay fight, right? And Fury wins on points. AJ smashes and Garnu to pieces, and all these things have still got to happen. Do you not think that without anyone really wanting to see Fury Usyk, that His Excellency is not going to turn around and go, guys, we've got a chance here to make the biggest fight in boxing, one of the biggest fights in the history of the sport. We need to do it. And if we don't, then we fight Hergovic, no problem, yeah. win the IBF, let them do their rematch, and then we fight. But these if, 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 like you want to eliminate the ifs when you've got a chance to make that fight. But we still got to win on Friday night. Well, while we're on the topic, uh, when I spoke to him, he said that the idea of a big fight hosted by the Saudis coming to the UK is actually a possibility, uh, and conversations have started on that aspect. Um, obviously, it depends on the financials and if the Saudis are willing to do it. But I said one or the, either the first or the second fight, there is a real potential to, if the financials are right and they're happy and they can still get the Vision 2030 and everything with Riyadh season across, that one of the Fury Joshua fights could land in the UK. Yeah, I mean, that would be incredible. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's definitely been mentioned. Um, we'd love to do it, but we're, we're really under the control in terms of making those fights. And, you know, people keep talking about our fights going to Saudi. Look at what you're seeing within three months. AJ Ngannou, Fury Usyk, Bivol Betabiev, and the 5v5. Like, you just wouldn't be seeing those. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. You just wouldn't be seeing those without what's happening here, without His Excellency. So we have to embrace that. Um, if we can keep, you know, that's one of the reasons we invested so heavily in Catchell Taylor. And you saw the response from that, both digitally and at the box office. So we need to keep making big fights in Britain. And if we could bring one of those fights to the UK, that'd be magic. How good is Francis Ngannou come Friday night? And it's important to put that out there, especially on the design mm. side. This will be available on Friday, not Saturday. Um, just how good is Francis Ngannou? Not as good as Anthony Joshua. I mean, that's the reality. There, there's so many people keep talking about, was the Fury Ngannou fight, was it an underwhelming Fury and a, 
Ngannou out of his skin? Or was it Ngannou just is much better than people thought? I, I mean, the reality is, I don't think Fury, Fury certainly wasn't in the shape and didn't have the preparation that he was going to have or would have for an Usyk fight, right? But Ngannou has now got the confidence of that Fury fight. Like, he should be shitting himself, Ngannou. But he's not, because he's an animal. He's an absolute beast of a man, right? And he has no fear going into this fight. And the confidence that he would have gained from the Fury fight is going to really help him in this fight. But we've got 10 rounds of footage, which Fury didn't have. But it's only 10 rounds of footage for Ben and Lee to break it down. Um, it's a very dangerous fight. But I still stand by, we should be winning. But we don't know. There's a lot of unknowns. What's the chin like? Mm. What's the chin really like? Mm. might be unbelievable. Mm. If it's unbelievable, it makes the fight even harder. I think he can gas Francis Ngannou if you box at a high tempo. But to box at a high tempo, you've got to be active and you've got to put yourself in dangerous positions. So, you know, it's, it's Ben getting the tactics right between a box smart, be aggressive, you know, take the middle of the ring. There's a lot to be done. And, and there's a fight with high jeopardy. Well, if you didn't know Eduardo, I caught up, because I've not mentioned it, I caught up with Tyson Fury on Sunday. Uh, I, bet he was, I bet he was absolutely overjoyed. He had such a sick day, I can't lie. I know, but obviously you were there because he's sponsored by Wow Hydrate. Mm. And they were doing a brand shoot. Yeah, and, and it was... They a, said I could roll in with the new channel and do a little exclusive. But it was, it was a media obligation that Tyson Fury had Not to do. Not really, actually. Uh, no, 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 actually. Really? We yeah, so you think Tyson Fury just wanted to catch up with Parsons? No, I'm not saying Tyson Fury did, but when I got there, yeah. we put the idea to the team, because it was all a little bit uncertain. I flew not 100% sure that I'd no, have the just interview. Just to... I, I'm, I'm going to crush your soul here, yeah, okay? Tyson I'm not Fury, saying he wanted to speak Of to course me. he didn't. No. Tyson Fury, yeah. because of his deal with okay, Wow Hydrate, yeah. has media obligations under his agreement yeah one of those would be to have a day with or a day usage with wow hydrate yeah they used the contractual obligation to get yeah. you a sit down Damn just just because right. we need to humble Damn you a little bit he, he, he didn't go to thailand yeah, and go oh do you know what i'm going to pop to thailand that's but while i'm there <laughs> i'd love parsons to fly over <laughs> oh i mean that's really what i want within my day in fact just to let you know how the conversation probably went Spencer Brown probably got a call from Wow Hydrate and went, um, we would like to, if possible, get a day with Tyson or, you know, to do some media activation. Oh, right, okay. Well, he's in Thailand at the moment. Um, well, what if we did something in Thailand? Oh, okay, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, then Spencer has to go to Tyson and this is how the conversation went. <laughs> Tyson, you're all right, mate. Um, listen, a oh, bit of a ball ache, but... Wow Hydrate, you've got within your contract, I don't know, two or three days of them a year. Day, uh, a a year, year, yeah. And, you know, they'd like to do something quite quickly. They've got this new channel launching. And they wondered if they could do something. And obviously, they're prepared to send someone to Thailand. Oh, have they? Like, we couldn't get out of it, could we? Get, mm, look, it won't be too bad. It's just an interview, a few bits, blah, blah, blah. We're going to send, they want to send Charlie Parsons. I mean, probably he might have gone, who? but probably knows who you are because you're just everywhere. And he actually tagged me on his Instagram oh, mate, story. Oh, oh, just wait. <laughs> right, so do you think at that point, Tyson Fury goes, oh, yeah, well, Parsons. Oh, yeah, don't even use a day of my contractual <laughs> obligations. If it's Parsons, I'd love him to come to Thailand because that would really make my day. No, he went, do I really have to sit down with that? I mean... There's, dweeb from the yes, there's two words that might have been used. <laughs> dweeb was definitely one of them. And cretin was another cretin. one, which I think is very powerful. That's a horrible word. Is it? I you think, can't call me a cretin. But, no, but I think, I can imagine the conversation. Are you telling me, while I'm in Thailand, dweeb is nicer? Because you, dweeb is actually, I'm looking at you now, and dweeb is... No, I, without being hey, horrible. No, but... Bro, Edward... Okay, and he went. You are forgetting and that, he went. That your relevance in your daughter's school. Oh, great. Do you think I want to drive into school and get kids yeah, coming you, up to you me? Slyly, you slyly quite like oh, it. Oh, love it. You've Brilliant. Got Chava. Go on, Jenna. Anyway, Chava, back to Chava. The thing. He said, do I really have to sit down with that dweeb in Thailand? <laughs> and the answer was, look, yes, you do. That's what happened. Don't gash yourself up and I'm tell you that. I'm gashing myself up. I've got you a story that, no, tag. No. 
we're I've good. Got we got tech. another little a little something coming actually, and you're gonna. Okay. okay. Anyway, anyway, did you enjoy your sit down? What did he say? He that was said, you say. Uh, "Great fight, but when I fought him, it was a mismatch. He was useless, but proved everyone wrong. I put him on the map, and I made him a multi-millionaire. Now I'm making him even more money. He needs to thank me and get on his knees and kiss my feet for what I've done for him." Yeah, I saw that actually because someone mentioned it to me it? yesterday. No, don't be stupid. <laughs> Um, and do you think, right, honestly, can we no, just, no, no, so oh, I, no. Do, do you think that in any time off I get, I'm going to watch You keep an up to date with No, because it's on Instagram all the time, because you just tag, I'm going to unfollow you, what? and then I won't see you ever oh, again. You will, because I'll still be pop up in your anyway, DMs. So what Tyson Fury said, yeah, a little bit OTT, but I will say, like, without a Fury, or without an AJ... Francis Ngannou can't get the money that he's obviously been getting for these fights. So it, took, it takes two. Fury made a lot of money for the Ngannou fight. AJ's making a lot of money. So you need each other. But yeah, I think because AJ wasn't going to fight Ngannou because he didn't think it was credible till he beat Fury or nearly beat Fury. And Fury was the one who went, yeah, I'll do it. So in some respects, Fury did help Ngannou make a lot of money. But let's be honest, if you look at his backstory and his achievements in combat sports, pretty much earn it as well. Joshua and Garnu prediction How much Friday longer, night. Probably. What's that? How much longer? Uh, five, ten minutes. Joshua and Garnu prediction. I like the prediction. first bit because it's a big okay. deal. Five, ten is double five. Okay, well, if so you keep five talking. Um, Anthony Joshua will stop Francis and Garnu in the second half of the fight. Okay. What do you think, uh, what do you think pink. of people saying... What do I pink? Banter. That's what you said. Bant. Have you, so you've never, ever in your life stuttered or acted. Have you ever seen me stutter? Yes, I have. No. Yes. I haven't. Go yes. on, what's the question? <laughs> I can't take you seriously. What do you think of people saying that Fury's cut's fake? Ridiculous. And there's a, actually was like it George Grove. Even George Grove. Like, what was yeah. he like? No. Come on. Listen, me and Tyson Fury will always have our back and forth. Is he going to train for eight or nine weeks in Saudi when he's making, I don't know, 60, 70 million in an undisputed fight and cut himself. Like, what's the conversation? I mean, it's a lot easier things to do. Like, I busted my hand. Right? Or if you want to pull out of a fight, you know, or I'm ill and I can't train. I haven't been able to train for two weeks. Or hurt me leg. Yeah. Not what we'll do is... <laughs> Fake right? a cut. Okay. Uh, where do you want it? Where do you want the cut, mate? Yeah, right there, please. I mean... <laughs> It's ridiculous. Uh, at least do it under the eye or do it on the head, like not on the eyelid yeah. that's going to open up in a fight. Up, yeah. I mean, no. So for me, the cut was 100% genuine. What but happened? for a lot of people, it wasn't. I mean, weirdly. Uh, if AJ and Fury clash, how does that go? I'm biased. AJ knocked him out. And hopefully you'll see again on Friday night, since the Wilding fight, the mood has changed, hasn't it? You know, all of a sudden a lot of people start thinking AJ can beat him. And you'll see again on Friday, I believe, a performance that will make you, one, want to see that fight even more, and two, start and believe in that Anthony Joshua can beat Tyson Fury. Spending a bit more time with Mr. Frank Warren? Enjoying it? Yeah, good. I mean, you know, I think it's, um, I think the world is a better place when you don't argue. You know? You've just spent this whole interview arguing with me. I'm not arguing with you. I'm putting you right. I'm educating you. I'm actually improving your chances in life because the way you are going, you're going you, well, you're to be very unpopular. Did you ever give me some praise? I used to give you praise no, when you were a nice kid. No, I still am. I give you praise. What can I give you praise for? What for you running? Well done. Thanks. There you go. It's praise. <laughs> so sincere. No, but, right. Frank Warren. Great. I mean, again, like last night, there's just a good feeling. Like, I can't actually believe that we're all there last night talking, having a laugh, like myself, the Queensbury staff, our team, Frank, like, I don't know. And when you get down to it, the reality is we all love boxing. Like, I could talk to Frank about boxing, his stable, my stable, all night. And he's got a passion for boxing like I have. We all share that passion. It's such a horrible business sometimes. You know, I was talking to Frank Smith earlier. It's so painful. There are so many arseholes in the sport. Like, it doesn't have to be like that. And what I've found through this is, it's so much more enjoyable when we actually work together. We're not always going to get on. 
he's got his broadcaster. I've got my broadcaster. You lot have been causing rifts for years and years in the, the clickbait that you put in. And I've said some things I shouldn't. So has he. But when you actually come together, it's quite enjoyable. And when you see what we're going to bring together in the 5v5, I think it's going to change a lot. And, um, yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been one of my most enjoyable moments in boxing, actually, to, to start, you know, not just working together, but just conversing in general. General, is, uh, is Big John Fury going to stick it on you this week? I saw him last night. Oh, did you? Yeah. You spoke? Yeah. No. No, I went well, up. He didn't just swing no, I went jaw. over to him. I said, what's your problem? No, you didn't. Yeah, and he said, what do you mean? I said, if you pipe up like that again, you'll get dropped, bruv. Yeah, bruv. No. That's my title. I went over to him. Went, get I went over bruv. to him. I went, hi, John. <laughs> no. I saw him. I thought, I actually saw the video of him and Auntie Joshua. I thought, oh, oh nice. Yeah, I thought, maybe he'll be like that with me. He wasn't. Mm, I mean, fine, but not quite as amicable he as the age of chin you. No, I went over to him. I thought, let's just front this up. So I went over to him and went, hello, John. He went crunch on my hand. And he sort of gave me a little pull and there was a step in front of me. And I went to him, John, don't pull me because I'll go flying here and there's cameras everywhere. And he said, he looked at me as if to say, you're a cheeky bugger, you are. And I would quite like to give you a slap. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. It was like one Probably of those because we're in the kingdom as yeah, well. Yeah, but also I don't think he's like, I genuinely don't think he's like that. I think he's got his opinions. Some of it is for the cameras. Some of it is emotion because obviously his son is the fighter. But I think he's great for boxing. I've said it before. I'm not just saying that because he's here and he might chin me. I do think he, him and Tyson, great for boxing. Dillian White has been cleared by the Texas Commission. Uh, your thoughts firstly and uh, any correspondence with his team? We no, I've not spoken really to Dillian months. since the failed drugs tests, obviously back in August. Um, great for him. You know, he'll be looking, he missed out on the AJ fight. He'll be looking to get into the mix in Saudi as well. I don't know the board's position on it. Obviously, we've been through this before with Connor when he got cleared. So I'm not sure. But, you know, he'll be wanting to make up for lost time and jump into a big fight. Connor's hearing imminent? The hearing's done. The result is, is Sorry, imminent, yeah. yeah. You should probably think about what you say. Um, <laughs> so we don't know if that's, I mean, could have been earlier, but should be any day now. And, you know, if we can get the, the good news there, he'll be straight into a stadium fight in, in probably early June, end of May. Your shortlist for opponents for Conor. Not going for I it. I mean, there's Terence a few. Crawford, Boots, Ennis. Okay, Garcia, neither of those two. So you've done amazing Brooke. there. Amazing. Not one of those no. four. No, it's not one of those two, the first well, two that you said. You said four. Yeah, but you started off with two that were yeah, immediately you wrong. Me it was the way you said it. You leant back and you went, hmm, understand <laughs> that the shortlist, uh, so it's like not, you know so, so Conor Ben will not fight. Terence Crawford or Boots Ennis, Okay, no. fine. There you go. Um, the other two? I'm not telling you. Okay. Because people don't want to hear it. People want to see the fight made and the contract signed. Fair enough. Once we get this result, we will make our move. Terence Crawford is a free agent. He is. Any discussions? I would love to sign Terence Crawford, but it's just a sensible conversation. Look, he needs that fight. He hasn't boxed since July. You know, we're in March, so he ain't fighting in May. So it's a year again since he's boxed. And like, he, I know he wants a mega fight and loads of money, but he's got to stay active. I want to see him move up to 54, maybe win a world title. I mean, look, we've got Kurbanov against Madrimov. Uh, it's on Friday night. It's not happening, I yes, believe. Yes, it is happening. Oh, it is Don't happening listen now. There to was rubbish, a report that it's not happening. Yeah, it's a report. So it is happening. It is happening, 100%. Oh, okay. 100%. It's for the World WBA Super Welterweight title. It's a great fight, by the way. Crawford can fight the winner of that. Pick up a belt at 154. But he's got to be willing to take what he probably thinks is small money to fight in Omaha, we'll do a huge show, and then we can go into a mega fight because you've got to stay active. Don't forget, AJ made very small money to fight Franklin and Hellenius. But look what it led him to. You know, wildly massive money fight. And Garnu, probably undisputed. You've got to stay active. Will Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia happen? It's very concerning. Yeah, I mean, look, people keep asking me about Ryan's um, behaviour. He's not behaving normally. And he's not behaving like Ryan Garcia. His behaviour is erratic. And that's concerning. But we don't know him. You know, Golden Boy have got to make a decision. The family have got to make a decision. But one thing for sure, you've got to be 100% going into that fight because Devin's very, very good. So ask yourself this, are you physically and mentally 100%? That fight is in six weeks, seven weeks. I mean, 
Is it not hard for you representing Devin having a fight like that scheduled on, on behalf of your fighter and sort of the uncertainty? Yeah, I mean, look, obviously look, the deal was done with Oscar and, and Bill Haney and we're in support. We've got this one fight option with Devin and we're here to support him. But if I'm, if I'm Devin Haney, it's difficult going to the gym and putting 110% into camp when in the back of your mind you're probably thinking the fight's not happening. Um, Canelo supposedly back in talks with PBC uh, regarding a Munguia fight in May and then the Charlo fight in September. Um, Frank said that you have a correspondence with uh, Seoul, Canelo mm. team. Update on your side? Yeah, I mean, again, he's got this multi-fight deal with PBC. You saw people talking about him leaving PBC. Now he's coming back. Did he ever leave PBC? Munguia is a fighter with Golden Boy who are exclusive to DAZN, so there's got to be a deal reached there. We've spoken to Sal, he reached out to me, I flew in and saw him with Eddie Reynoso. He's going to take the most money he can, basically. Um, and if that's with the PBC, that's where he'll stay. If it's with us, that's where he'll come. Um, still work to be done, there's a lot of conversations going on. Um, but I do expect him to fight Mungia next. But it's only eight weeks on Saturday, May the 4th. Not ideal. Katie Taylor fights at the Free Arena on May 25, I believe. Um, May 25 or May 25th? May 25th. Okay. Yeah. You knew what I meant though do you know what I'm saying I, know, I just never I don't think that's really something someone just, would say just changing yes she is um, it may be Chantel Cameron it or someone may be. else yeah we want to make that fight but not Amanda Serrano no and not an MMA background fighter no. so where does that leave us it leaves us with a possible mandatory and then ah. the Chantel Cameron fight possibly a few months later in the summer but I'd like to make the Chantel Cameron fight obviously it's difficult making the fight you know, again, back to the Taylor catcher or the financials, but we want to make those big fights. And the same goes for Wood Warrington, you know. So um, we're working hard to do it, and there'll be an announcement soon on Katie. Right, Edward, thanks for speaking Thank to for us that. on the Stomping Ground, live on the zone. Tell the viewers it's Friday night. We need to stress yeah. this. Yeah, I don't see what's so difficult. I mean, it's been you stressed, said it's in everywhere. An yesterday, Saturday what? night. Did I? What yeah. interview? Uh, I think it was the IFL one. Really? Mm. Okay, well, Friday night. Live on the zone around the world. Watch a huge card from Riyadh, top to bottom. I mean, Joyce Zhang. I mean, Zhang Parker. Banger. What a fight. Kurbanov Madrimov, huge fight. Ball against Vargas, great fight. Even Gwyn against Chamberlain, great fight. And Gavin Gwyn in Saudi. Yeah, Justice Hooney against Kevin Lorena, great fight. Massive card, Friday night, live on the zone. AJ's back. We're going to take care of this big lump and knock him spark out in Riyadh. We'll see you there. Tell him, General. There we are, we got it on camera, sweet.